Let's see this question. We have to identify the most stable carbon ion. The first one, if you look at, is a two degree carbon ion. The next one is also a two degree carbon ion. This is a one degree carbon ion. And in option D, we have a three degree carbon ion. You can see this carbon attached to three carbons. It's a three degree carbon ion. This is expected to be the most stable carbon ion on the basis of hyper conjugation. As well as inductive effect. Now, if we check out the alpha carbons, it has a maximum number of alpha hydrogens available as compared to the other options. So, maximum hyperconjugation is possible, making it the most stable carbocation out of these given options. Okay. See, in this question, we have to identify which alcohol will react instantaneously with Lucas reagent. If you know, Lucas reagent is a mixture of concentrated HCl and anhydrous zinc chloride. When alcohol is made to react with it, we get to see white turbidity due to formation of alkyl chloride. The reaction the reaction proceeds via formation of a carbocation intermediate formation so the more stable carbocation the faster the reaction the faster you will see the turbidity in the test tube so out of the given alcohols this being one degree this also this being two degree this is one degree while this one is three degree three degree will form a three degree carbocation which will be more stable compared to the remaining options so i believe this three degree alcohol will react fastest because of formation of a three degree carbocation which is more stable out of the given options. See, in this question, we have to identify which molecule can show intramolecular H bonding. In option A, which is orthonitrophenol, see, this is how the structure is. Here, intramolecular H bonding is possible. Whereas, in the remaining option, paranitrophenol, the groups are too far for intramolecular H bonding to take place. So, it can show only intermolecular H bonding. The same is true for the meta isomer. In D option HF as well, intermolecular H bonding is possible. So, only one compound out of the given option that is orthonitrophenol is able to show intramolecular H bonding. Solution D is Failing solution is generally used in identification of aldehyde group, presence of aldehyde group aldehydes answer positive uh, failing test, whereas ketones generally uh, don't answer failing test. So, in failing test, we use failing solution A and failing solution B and add it to an aldehyde which forms a red precipitate of cuprous oxide. This is a positive uh, failing test shown by aldehydes. Now here two filling solutions A and B which are being added to the aldehyde they contain filling solution A contains aqueous copper sulfate and filling solution B contains sodium potassium tartrate also known as Rochelle salt. So here we, we need to answer filling solution A that would be aqueous copper sulfate so I believe this is the correct option. Okay. Let's see the next question. The compound that will undergo uh, fastest reaction, fastest SN1 reaction is SN1 reaction proceeds by formation for carbocation intermediate. So, rate of SN1 reaction is decided by stability of that carbocation. More stable the carbocation, faster the SN1 reaction would be. So, if you look at this option A, this is the carbocation it will form. Option B, this is the carbocation it will form. Option C will form highly, highly unstable aryl carbocation while option D will form this 2 degree benzylic carbocation that is uh, resonance stabilized because of resonance stabilization this carbocation is more stable uh, compared to all other options hence this compound will be most reactive towards SN1 reaction out of the given options okay okay let's see the next question which of the following is not a redox reaction in reaction 1 zinc gets oxidized and copper is getting reduced so it is a redox reaction in option b chlorine is getting reduced and iodine gets oxidized 
So this is also a redox reaction. In option C, hydrogen gets oxidized and chlorine gets reduced. So this is also a redox reaction. So answer should be D option. We can check as well. Here barium maintains its oxidation state of plus 2. So it's not getting oxidized or reduced. Option D is the answer. This is not a redox reaction. Thank you.